It's uh, June 1st, 2013, and uh, behind me here is a uh, Dixonia Antarctica, a Tasmanian tree fern, and uh, this is a prehistoric plant, and this one's native to the southern hemisphere, Tasmania, and the sub-Antarctic islands around it. Um, these are the new fronds that have unfurled this spring. There's about two dozen of them there, and they're just about finished unfurling, maybe just about an inch left on them. They're about eight foot in length or so. And these are last year's fronds here. So the ones you've seen out of the center, this is this year's growth. And each year it does this. It sends out giant fiddleheads, and they unfurl within about a month or so. And uh, this is an evergreen plant here uh, facing, I guess this is northwest and an alcove on the side of my house here. This one has about uh, six feet of trunk on it. I planted it uh, two decades ago. I have two smaller ones on the uh, northeast side of the house that are doing very well also. Um, this plant here will probably grow about 30 feet tall in time, but very slow growing in the trunk, but fast to produce fronds here. It loves our climate here on Salt Spring Island, and this is the only place in Canada on the southwest coast. Uh, Vancouver Island, we grow them on the west coast, and uh, but the farther you get away from the ocean, it's a little bit trickier, and they're going to need a lot of protection. So here it's a very happy camper. I'll grab the camera, and I will show you what this thing looks like up close and personal. This trunk is a, it's a big one and it's only going to get bigger. And uh, one of my favorite garden plants here because it is so exotic, it's a solid zone 8B slash 9A plant. So if you're in a colder growing zone than that, it is going to need some sort of uh, protection. I do um, the burlap on the inner crown in the winter months where the uh, closures emerge because that's the most tender part of a tree fern. So this is a Tasmanian tree fern, Dixonia antarctica. There's Dixonia scrosa, fibrosa. There's Cyathea, which are less hardy, but um, this one here, I believe, is uh, probably the, one of the most cold hardy for our uh, growing zone here in the southern Gulf Islands of British Columbia, Canada. We are lucky here because we do have the Pacific Ocean. It keeps our uh, island moderate year-round the climate. So this does get spores on the underside of the fronds as well. And you can start new ones from it. And um, periodically, our grocery store actually brings these things in and sells them with their nursery plants. If I have time today, I'll head up to the nursery just on the north end here where I live. About a two-minute drive from my place, which has a nice selection of tree ferns, and if they have uh, some smaller ones, I know they have larger ones. I may, uh, I may end up buying them. They are quite expensive. They're probably 15 or 20 dollars a trunk, inch. One inch represents one year of growth on this big fern. So, anyway, we'll uh, we'll grab that camera, and we'll show you the overall plant. There you go. It's a beautiful thing, nice and lush. And uh, here's the trunk. Big, big trunk. It's pretty exotic, isn't it? Goes uh, very well with palms and other exotic broadleaf evergreens. So give one a try if you're in this growing zone. And even if you're not, you know, cooler growing zone, try one and with protection. This does get actually full hot sun in here too. So it doesn't seem to bother it this far north at 48 degrees north latitude.